guys, just... you got to use your imagination on this, please. I don't think we're going to come back and do this, but uh, it seems we're coming back to do this. Lovely. So what's up guys, Mars here. Welcome back to Sonic Forces. We're going to be creating even more Five Nights at Freddy's characters. Your guys' comments in the last video. Gorgeous. I saw plenty of requests for Foxy. I saw some spring traps in there. I saw that good stuff. So I thought FNAF deserved one more video. And the next one we do, if we do, we'll move on to something like... Bendy and Eat Machine, Undertale, I don't know, we'll find out because I saw a lot of that in the comments section of the last video as well. And speaking of the last video, if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out, links in the description down below. But we're going to get on over here and we are going to first start with the most requested character, which was had, again in the last video, being Foxy. So let's get straight to it here, create that new avatar. Let's go, and of course, Foxy... Being a male, I'm sure, let's start with a male there. We don't actually have a fox species specifically. But I think the wolf would be the one that would be the closest. I mean, that kind of looks like him already. He's got, like, the hair from the sides coming out there. Let's just double check through these ones, though. It could be a cat. But that tail, the wolf already has that fox-like tail. I guess it's more similar to what Foxy would look like. So I suppose we would most likely go with that one. But we're just going to run through him quickly. Yeah, definitely the wolf, guys. No doubt about it. There we have our head shape, though. And yeah, I think the first tight there is looking a lot more foxy-like. As with the others in the other video, he's already looking perfect! As with most of the animatronics, their muzzles really are basically the same as their fur color. So we're going to kind of need something like that. Kind of reddish. Again, on my other monitor, I got the references there. Uh, I think it's about that one, I'd say. That one there. Yeah, uh, it's not really pale, but it's not really dark. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going for that one. Then that seems fine. And then we got the eye shape, though. Type 2, no, it wasn't. Type 3 was the eye shape I went with on a lot of the others in the last video. But maybe Foxy could do with a different one wherever we we'll run through. It looks like Type 3, again, might just be the perfect one. That really does suit his eyes. Especially with the picture I got, because he's got his eyes half shut. We need quite a strong red there, quite a darkish red. Kind of in between a red and a brown, that's what we're looking for. Maybe if we get on here, we'll see it. No, that's just too brown. We need that reddish brown. That's probably it right there, really? Yeah, that's definitely it. That's all we've got right now. It's either that or that one. Yeah, that's a bit too bright. We've definitely got to go for that one. He's already looking like the part, guys. Look at our Foxy here. He's looking fantastic. You go to the pizzeria, Freddy Fazbear's, and you see Foxy do his breakdance in there. <laughs> that looks just stupid, to be honest. Of course, he, he looks like this. <laughs> Every time. You'd think there'd be an eye patch here, man. Give me something. I got a scout here. That's totally what he wears, by the way. Checking out all your power levels right there. No? Really? Come on, man. Is there even an eye patch in this game? I've unlocked way more than when we did that first making FNAF character video. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it is here. That's just something typically I haven't unlocked yet. You know, something I typically get at the last second. Because I don't know what every single item is still in this game. I, I, have, I haven't found out. So, um, yeah, that's kind of annoying. We could always give him those spiffy shades, because of course he wears those as well. Not only does he check out your power level, he wears those spiffy shades as well. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. That's kind of annoying. That would have been amazing, man. Just that one touch would have made it so much better. But yeah, sadly, I don't have that. Anything here that would look good on him? Don't really need anything right here. Not really. The gloves, though. He has metal hands because he's like quite withered, isn't he? So we've got to find something that will kind of make him look withered. These could do. He does have complete robotic hands. I think that's honestly the best we can do. Again, guys, I said this before. This is all in good fun. We're not going to be able to do it exactly like them. This OC creation is very limited. You really can't do a whole lot when you actually get down to it. You can do a few things, but if you're trying to create a character from a completely different game, then yeah, it's not really gonna happen. So for now, I think that's all we can do with Foxy. I don't know if there's an eye patch in this game. You guys can let me know if you've got one. And then maybe I'll update this character with an eye patch if I can get that if it's in the game. But for now, that's Foxy, guys. 
What'd you think? 10 out of 10? So, who are we gonna do next? Springtrap, I guess. That was a request I saw a lot. So, yep, Springtrap, sure. And straight up, we got the rabbit there. That's, of course, gonna be the perfect thing for Springtrap. Because, uh, yeah, I think he's supposed to be some, some sort of rabbit. So, sure. Which type, though? He does have one ear completely ripped off. Like, he's only got, like, a quarter of his ear, barely half of his ear left on his head. But of course, uh, Sonic Forces didn't quite go the morbid route with that, sadly. <laughs> you can't choose a bunny with their ear chopped off. So I guess that one kind of looks like it. I guess, if we use our imagination, really stretch it out, then sure, type 3. Alright, so we got our skin colour, really dark green, like, it's almost like green yellow, isn't it? So we got to look for something on those lines. I guess that could do greenish, yellow, brownish color, all those kind of mixes in there. Sure, we're gonna go for that. The eye shape though, not gonna be the typical type three. I think on this one, type five is the absolute perfect fit. But the body color though, very dark green. You could say a very, very dirty yellow. So maybe that one or that one? Which one would look better? That's the thing. I think it's, looking more like that one yeah most likely yeah I think this one okay time to go into the fitting room and see what we can do with him here anything on the upper head he doesn't wear anything so yeah I think this is completely redundant to look at right now yeah we don't need anything here I don't think anything's gonna make him look any better so we're gonna go to the middle headgear again probably nothing here that we could add to him to make him look even better or anything like that so we're gonna get out of that one lower headgear though no not really oh yeah these are looking okay-ish I guess so yeah might stick with them for now sure why not the footwear though he does have completely exposed feet and you can see the um, endoskeleton feet there so yeah I guess kind of like Foxy we should go down here and actually find these robotic-like boots or something. Yeah, they're all the way down here. Yeah, yeah, there they are. I guess that could do it. I think I got something that might work here. It's down here, but yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's just a bit too gold, though. It's too shiny, man. But it has that withered look. We got all the way at the back, and we got it right at the front there. And that actually does suit it quite well. It's just the fact that, like I said, slightly too shiny looking. And I don't have any other version. I got these black ones here. And that random weird version, sure. But yeah, but for now, I suppose that could look okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, guys, so that's Spring Trap. And it looks so good. So this one's going to look absolutely stupid. But we're going to throw in and try the purple guy. Why not? Sure. Now, of course, the purple guy isn't uh, any kind of animal. Or is he? We're still not quite sure, guys. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he is not. So, uh, yeah, what do I choose here? Gonna go for the rabbit because we can give him, like, certain types of headgear. And then when you do that, for some reason, the ears they have on their head completely disappear. Where do they go? I don't really know, guys. They just seem to just completely go some complete different place. They do. So, yeah, we're just going to choose whatever ears. And then he needs to just be completely purple. Everything needs to, com to be completely purple. So, yeah, purple muzzle there. Eye shape, though. Definitely those dark ones, man. 100%. And then we got his eye color. They're actually meant to be white, aren't they? I mean, I'm basing it off the whole sprite. So, I guess they're white. Sure, we're giving the white eyes their body color, though. Yeah, that purple there, that looks like a dark pink, so I don't really want that one. Need more of a dark purple. Yeah, that's the one right there. Yeah, definitely. Kind of want to change the muzzle now, but we'll go back to that in a second. Voice, it doesn't matter. Victory pose there, that always matters, guys. You know that always matters. Yeah, that purple guy. He's going to be doing those breakdancing skills. Actually, no, he's going to be doing that awesome side flip there. That's fantastic. All right, okay. Yep, I do want to go back and change... What was it? Was the skin color? Yeah, I do want to change that quickly. Yeah, that's more. Yeah, that's definitely more like it right there. It's either that one or that one. Mm, gonna go for that one. Sure, that just seems a little better to me. Maybe you guys thought the other one was better, but I'm sorry, we're going for that one there. Looks great. All right, so we go straight to the fitting room, and like I said, give them certain type of headgear 
then yeah, the eyes come, uh, not the eyes, the ears, sorry, completely disappear. So we're trying to go for that typical security guard look that the fans made up for their fan art, I guess. So if we give him the hat there, I suppose that kind of looks like the security guard hat. Guys, just, you got to use your imagination on this, please. Holy moly, look at that. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Okay, wow. They look neat, but I still think we should have the white eyes. Look at that though, that's absolutely piercing, man. Dang, he comes straight up to you. Scary stuff. Yeah, we still have the regular white eyes there. Anything for the mouth? Not really. Well, we got that purple thing there. At least that covers up the animal look, I suppose. But this is the purple guy as the Sonic character is still trying to look like the purple guy, so... At the same time, it doesn't really matter that he has that animal look, I suppose. So, yeah, and also that doesn't really look that great, to be honest. So we're going to ignore that. But that purple nose, though. He is purple guy, guys, and all he's got is everything purple. He sure does. Oh, man, man. Purple guy with that cheesy grin right there. Yeah, I think that would do sure. Gloves. What would you wear? I don't know, some kind of security guard gloves, I guess. They're kind of neat. They, they, they seem kind of security guardish. Sure. More on, like, the police force side, but sure, I guess that could kind of work. I'll say it again, guys. That imagination, please. Yeah, we're just going to leave him like that, guys, because he's looking absolutely gorgeous. He sure is. But for now, I am going to end the video here today. Definitely let me know your favorite in the comments section down below. Is it Foxy? Is it Springtrap? Or is it Purple Guy? And if you got any future suggestions for us making a possible future, making characters in Sonic Forces, again, you can always let me know in the comments section down below. Maybe we'll try Benny Ink Machine next time or Undertale, because a lot of you did uh, actually mention that in the last video. So maybe we'll try that for the next one. I don't know. We'll see depending on what you guys have to say in the comments section. But for now, enough of that jibber jabber. If you enjoyed, smite the like button. But most importantly, thank you for even watching today. And I'll see you in the next one.